this is the best part that happens on a dairy farm. And this is the birth of a newborn calf. After the calves are born, they go down to a computer-fed calf feeding facility. Put an RFID tag in her ear. It allows the calf to take control of what she wants to do. She has the ability to go choose how much she wants to eat, what time of the day she wants to eat. They're also in a group of about 22 calves. Group-fed calves offer some advantages and some disadvantages, and it just requires different management. You'll see a lot of different practices employed on dairy farms across the country. Everything in this barn is literally aimed for cow comfort. We want to make sure that they have everything that they want, that all their needs are met, and that includes water, that includes cooling, that includes unlimited feed, and that includes a very comfortable place to lay and get up and down from. We choose to use sand bedding. This barn is naturally ventilated. There's fans running in this barn when the temperature exceeds 70 degrees, and that's because cows start to experience heat stress at that level. It's actually called a free stall barn because the cows are free to move around from the stalls to the feed bunk to the water to the milking parlor and back and forth. There's a nutritionist that visits the farm it's once a week. He looks at the cows, he looks at their body condition, he looks at the milk components, he looks at the production of the cows, and then he makes adjustments in the cow's diets based on that information. The diet you see here, primary ingredients that are farm grown, corn silage and alfalfa haylage, we do feed a lot of outside commodities. Cereal fines to canola meal, soybean pellets or soybean hulls, all byproducts of manufacturing. One of the products we use currently is Brewer's Grain, which is a byproduct of making beer. We actually use citrus pulp as well. So lots of byproducts, but they do change through the course of the year and the season. And that's where it makes it especially critical for that nutritionist that's here on the farm on a regular basis to adapt the diet accordingly. This barn has four groups of cows in it, and those groups will be milked individually three times a day. So they'll come and get the groups of cows. They'll groom the free stalls, clean out any manure that might be on the back of the stall, just groom the sand, make it a little more comfortable. Now at the milking parlor, they get in, get milk, and they're able to return to the clean barn. Everything you see happen here, because 11 full-time people are just committed beyond all reasonable expectations to what they do. And they have a commitment that's unparalleled to anything I've ever seen. They're an incredible group, and I'm proud of what they do every day.